this time I'm going to demonstrate the proper procedure uh, for per performing a surgical crike. The first thing that we want to make sure we always do during any procedure is make sure we have proper BSI. Our next step is to make sure the area has been prepped. I've already done that, uh, so we're good to go there. Now we're going to go ahead and locate the cricothyroid membrane and find our landmark. Once that landmark is found, make sure you do not lose positive control. We're going to take our scalpel and make an incision over top of the cricothyroid membrane in a vertical manner. Once that incision has been made, you can either use the sharp edge or the blunt edge of the scalpel to penetrate through the membrane. For the next step, you can use either hemostats or your crike hook. I prefer hemostats to open the incision. Once that incision is opened, the next step is to get our ET tube. As you can see, this ET tube right here is a little bit shorter than the normal ET tube. It has been cut down uh, to allow this uh, procedure to be a little more manageable. The one caution is just to make sure when cutting this tube that we don't cut the inflation tube. We're going to insert it into the incision. You can remove your hemostats. And now we're going to inflate As you can see, I still have not lost positive control of the tube. Hook up to the BVM, and we want to either check for rise and fall of the chest, or you can check the tube for condensation as you ventilate your patient. We do have positive rise and fall of the chest, so at this time, what we will do is take our two by twos and they've already been pre-cut you're gonna put one facing up and one facing down to help protect the incision site now taking your tape We will then secure the tube into place, making sure that you do not tape circumferentially as that may prevent the air from entering the casualties airway. Hook our BVM back up and continue to ventilate our patient.